completely obvious question, but an emotional week for you. How are you? Um, yeah, it, I'm. I'm excited to be honest. I've, after the um, after unfortunately coming out of Europe, it's, it, for me it's been um, a lot more relaxed, if anything, because when we were still in Europe, I, I, I didn't see anything else apart from obviously succeeding in that. And now, now that that story is over. Um, knowing that obviously tomorrow, well, Sunday will be my last home game. Um, just something that me and my family, friends and, and the fans can enjoy. Is it starting to hit home, starting to feel real now? Um, to be honest, yes, because of the reasons I just said. Um, obviously, in the last uh, month or so, I've, I've played quite a bit as well. i played against Arsenal, Chelsea and um, minutes against Norwich and travelling around Europe. So I haven't really thought about uh, on Sunday. Um, but it's great as well because we've actually got a lot to play for still. Um, at this stage of the season, we can still finish in uh, European places. And, and I, I had a chat with the manager yesterday. And as much as as much as it's going to be uh, an emotional occasion for myself and the family, um, it's an occasion that we want to we want to pick up points and we want to play well and um, uh, and try and get results. Declan Rice had to hide his head away during his speech at the end of season awards, quite emotional. How much does this club mean to you and this group of players? Can you sum that up? Yeah, we've, to be honest, we've, we've, we've uh, become really close in the last <coughs> two and a half seasons because we've had a tight-knit squad. We haven't had a, the biggest squad in the world. But as I said uh, at the Player Awards the other night, we've had a, a group of players that really have worked hard for each other and, 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 and had some amazing experiences with each other and go out every weekend and, and play for West Ham. And that's what, that's all we ask for. And I think that's why we've, we've been quite successful in the last two seasons because of, because of that reason. And because, not only because of me, but we've got fantastic characters and leaders in the dressing room that um, have, have pulled the club through. How much further do you think this club can go? with this group of players and, and the management team? Um, well, I hope that uh, we've obviously we've got quite a big summer coming up because we've got a few players out of contract, a few players leaving. Um, we're probably two or three players short as it is now. Um, so we're going to have to add to the squad. Um, for obvious reasons, the dynamics of the dressing room is going to change because uh, I'm, I, I won't be there and... Uh, you've got people like Yarmo, who's an experienced pro. Um, don't think he's going to be there. We, we we don't know yet, but it, it looks like he he will. Uh, I read something that he will be going. Um, so there's a few out out of contract that um, might not be there. But um, me knowing the manager and knowing the staff here, that uh, they'll get whipped into shape quickly and um, and be ready to play next season. David Moyes was saying your work behind the scenes with players. The stuff that goes on the scene has been invaluable. I just wonder, have you spoken with Declan Rice at all? Um, obviously, a huge amount of speculation over his future. Yeah, and to be honest, I think not only myself, but I think Deck as well. And I said this before. I think he, he just wants to play football. You know what I mean? And he he wants to. I don't think any West Ham fan in the world, uh, or players, staff members, can say that. He's had other things on his mind this season because he's he's been one of the best players in world football. So, um, for what he's done in the last couple of seasons for himself and his his reputation, the way he's played for uh, the national team has has been phenomenal. So, um, I, I think that there's so much speculation about him at the minute, but it's all coming from from outside. And he he we're in the dressing room and with the players and with us, he's been fantastic. So. Um, Deck knows, and he knows that obviously I'm not going to be here every day. But he knows that, and he said that I'm a phone call away if he needs any help around the place or uh, he needs some advice. Then um, I'll always be here for him, no matter what. You've been a one club man. Do you think he'll stay longer than his contract? Um, I, I think he's he's still got a few years left, and um, I think the speculation that that's around Deck at the minute is 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 always going to be there because he's such a good footballer and. Um, when you're when you're when you're doing that well, you're gonna you're gonna be looked at by by other clubs. So um, to be honest, he's so young. I think we should just try and let him enjoy his football for the minute and and let 
let everything else take care of itself because you never know what's going to happen in football. You really don't. And um, but look, listen, if, if you're going to ask me whether Deck's going to turn up on Sunday and, and next Sunday, I'm, I can assure you, uh, he'll be ready to play. And finally, for me, sorry, just plans post football? Have you made any? Have you got any? A lot of people think you should come back and be involved in the backroom stuff. Um, look, I've I've spoke with the manager. I actually spoke to. Uh, uh, Karen last night on on the phone and uh, they've both made it clear that um, they want me to to come back and uh, and and do something at the club. What that role is yet, we we haven't quite worked that out. But um, I, I'm defo going to go away on holiday and and spend some time with the wife and the children and uh, and do some things that uh, I've never been able to do before. Um, so um, to be honest. We've had a, a long conversation about it, um, but I'm just going to go away for now and 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 sit down in a in a couple of months and um, uh, and discuss what that is. Shall we? Uh, oh yeah. Congratulations to us on a fantastic career at West Ham. Now, you're an East Londoner, born and bred. I know what that means because I'm from the East End of London as well. How blessed do you feel to have played for your local club for your entire career? Uh, blessed, lucky. Um, as I said before, it's some, at times it's been really hard because when you when you care about a football club so much, and uh, not only the football club but um, the staff that work here, I've known many of them since I was a 11 year old kid, um, and seen them day in day out, and know their families, and know their children, and their wives and husbands, and. Um, as I said before, it becomes like a, a, a big family at this place. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually miss them for sure. I'll, I'm no doubt I'll, I'll come in when my, my son's here anyway. He's in the academy, so that gives me a chance to come back and see see people. But um, to be to, to to have played at this club and to to get the amount of games that I've played for for West Ham and um, uh, is is truly incredible. And I, I said the other night here at the awards that. Um, being born a West Ham fan and being from the area I've probably not only West Ham fans but probably lived every fans football fans dream of playing for the team they support captaining the team they support and and um, and creating a bit of history for, for my family What's been the best moment of your career at West Ham? <laughs> How long have you got? Um, <laughs> probably obviously the the, the the one that stands out is is, is my debut at, uh, at Upton Park, because um, you, you you dream about it and then it becomes a reality. Um, but there's been so many. There, there really has. There's been there's been some incredible. Uh, and do you know what? When you're when you're actually a fan of the football club and there's been other been, been other players around the country that have around the world that have done it. Um, what happens is the highs are really high and the lows are really low. And you got the older you get, you man, you try and manage that when you go home and you've got two young children um, and a wife, and you you don't want to try and take them home with you. But um, it, it does become a lot harder uh, when you're a, a, a supporter of the club and you care so much about everyone here that uh, when you're at a club for so long. Um. Listen, I, I think I've made it clear in um, in in the last few months what 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 I think the club has done in the last two years. We, it seems like look, every every club goes through a transition in, in their time, and um, in the last two and a half seasons, three seasons, um, the players in there and the group of staff have sort of brought the club. And the fan base back together. Um, I think European nights at the stadium help massively. Uh, the games we've played against the, the top four in the, in our stadium this year have, have helped because we've we've had great good results against them. Um, and it and it and it's brought a, a fan base because I said it, it was hard at times coming from the old stadium because people are used to what they're used to. But um, in fairness to the to the football club and. Um, they've made it home now. It really feels like home. Uh, we've got a really good record at our place. So um, it's been such an important time for the last two years that what the players have done and they've really um, brought the club back together. Have you got the emotional one 
<laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I'm an emotional person anyway, so um, I, I, I normally wear my heart on my sleeve. And um, I've, as, as, as captain, and even when I wasn't here, I'd, I'd always do what I thought was right. And if I was wrong, I'd apologise after. Um, but at that moment, I'd do what I thought was right. Um, but look, listen, as, uh, as, as, as great as this two and a half years has been, um, it will be emotional um, Sunday and coming to an, an end of a 18, 19 year career. Um, but it's so I'm so pleased that I go get to do it on my own terms um, and retire from football and not football retire me and um, and get to celebrate it with the fans that have paid so much money and followed us through thick and thin for the last since I've been playing. So. Um, it's not just about me, it's about them as well. Thank you. And just MF and the BBC. Oh, I'm just wondering, how pleasing it, has it been for you that this season has been so special for you? <laughs> Maybe how frustrating is it that you haven't been able to achieve everything that it's uh, the club might have been? Do you know what? I've, I, for for the, the years I've been playing at the club, and we've had some really good seasons and we've had some really tough ones. Um, I just sometimes I think someone was looking down on me having this season as my last because we've had so many phenomenal moments, uh, some great times to share with the players. And when I say players, I mean my friends because they, they are my friends and um, the people I care about. Um, to see the way it's been with, with the stadium staff and the training ground staff to achieve what we've achieved this year in, in, a, in playing in the semi-final of a European competition. Um, to see the way it's galvanised everyone here has, has been phenomenal. And you, I wake up in the morning sometimes, and I think, um, yeah, that uh, someone's looking down on me and letting me end my career in, in this season. It doesn't make you regret your decision, doesn't it? You think it's like one more season? No, <laughs> no, um, because football can change very quickly. And as as much as I think we've got a fantastic, solid fan base, uh, sorry. Uh, base at a, at a football club now, um, in in the manager and his staff, and we've got some phenomenal players. But like I just said, um, sometimes uh, getting the exit right is is not done often, and I feel like I've done that. Did you see yourself? Did you visualise yourself as a West Ham captain lifting trophies with this club? Uh, I've never been asked that question actually. Um, I don't think it went that far, if I'm honest. It went as far as I dreamed about playing for West Ham when I was a kid. And then you get that and you become greedy. And when I first started playing for the club, it was like I just wanted I wanted it again and again and again. It, be, it becomes quite addictive. And then um, becoming captain in a football club, club captain is was a, was a massive honour for me. Um, and yeah, don't get me wrong, uh, the icing on the cake would have been lifting the trophy this year. But look, for me as, as, a, as a homegrown player, just to, to achieve what I've achieved at this football club, for myself and for my family, has is, is, uh, is, is been what dreams are made of. And um, I'm hoping in the next few years we might, we might get a few more of me come through the academy and, and be able to uh, achieve what I've achieved. Um, do you know what I think? Uh, your career sort of, if if we had a manager that come in that, that didn't like the way I played and didn't uh, appreciate the way I play football, then obviously I would have I would have left. Um, but to accumulate the amount of games I've played under nine or ten different managers it has to mean that I've played underneath uh, them, them them managers and whether that was uh, foreign English, um, different styles of of playing. Um, I've always I've always been in the team, so there was never really any uh, reason for me to to leave. Um, the, and my contract never ran out, so it wasn't like I was I, I could have left on a free. Um, and to be, if I'm really honest with you, I, uh, I just my fam I'm from here, my family's from here, uh, my wife we went to school together, my son's in the academy, so it was it was perfect for me to be here, and I don't regret it at all. I, 
I um, I've loved every minute of it. I'm not. I'm not bothered at all. Um, that, that's. I, I've already spoke about this with the manager, and um, as I said before, I think uh, the club. For me, the club getting into Europe again, uh, into the Europa League, outweighs. Um, how do I say it? Outweighs a sentimental see off for me. If you know what I mean, I think we we need to. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get a, a great reception. I know that, and yeah, maybe if I I, I get some minutes, great. But um, I've played enough games in my life to uh, to to not need the football, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, I think the the occasion um, needing needing points really. Um, we're playing against the, one of the best teams in the world, but um, I think we need to worry about getting the points and instead of worrying about me.